for professional or personalized medical treatment or advice. You should never or not rely on the information received from this presentation for medical, legal, or financial decisions. Always consult with your professional practitioner for advice related to your situation. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay seeking it because of my presentation. Exodus 15, as I've been reminding you in other presentations, and said, if thou diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Let us pray. Father, you are God and none else. I recognize no one else. I know no other because you are the one who is creator. And I recognize you yesterday because you are the one who made the heaven and the earth, the sea and the fountains of water. I could not have said this yes um, today about happy Sabbath. I said that yesterday because I know that you are creator God. And you said we should rest with you. And while we rest with you, you want us to replenish. So today is a new day, which is ours. So heavenly father intervene in each and every one of um, those who are here lives and touch each and every one of them that your name will be glorified. If any among us is sick, I pray for healing upon them and for their extended families and friends who are sick. We thank you. And I pray that this information that they have been um, privy to, that they can impart to others. Thank you so much for being with us. And we pray the Holy Spirit guidance and wisdom in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. That's a promise that was made to Egypt, to the Israelites, and God is doing the same thing for us today. It should be known that um, someone's not hearing. Anyone else not hearing me? If you're hearing me, just put your hand up. Okay, Tashley is hearing. Anyone else not hearing? Okay. I hope Brother Simon is here. I'm not sure why but others are hearing me. Okay. It should be known that the cause, cause the curse causeless shall not come. The second part in Proverbs 26 2. And disease never comes without a cause. Never comes without a cause. If there is something going on, that means there's a symptom of a bigger picture of what is happening. So always find out the cause. So diseases that Jesus healed and Jesus went throughout all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of diseases. And this comes from Matthew 4, verses 23 and 24. All manner of sickness and diseases among the people. See the distinction, sickness and diseases? And all his, his fame went throughout all Syria and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments and those which were possessed with devils and those which were lunatic and those that had palsy and he healed them. Jesus healed those who were sick. He used his hand. And that's what many of us are doing these days as gospel medical missionaries, helping others to um, know what the Bible says about the eight laws of health and how you can heal and reverse your diseases. What three reasons can um, cause sicknesses? For the glory of God, violation of the natural laws and violation of spiritual laws. Disease is an effort of nature to free the system from this conditions that result from the violation of the laws of health. In case of sickness, the cause should be ascertained, unhealthful conditions should be changed, wrong habits corrected. The nature is to be assisted in her efforts to expel impurities and to reestablish right conditions in the system. I cannot stress this enough. 
I cannot overemphasize this, that when we are going through anything, it is because there is a violation of the laws of health and nature wants to get rid of it. So sometimes it stays into our bodies and cause all sorts of issues for us as women, whether or not it's cysts, fibrocystic um, breath of the breast, whether or not it's cyst, um, cyst on the ovaries, fibroids, all of these things. These are the things that build up in our, in our system and also men too. B vitamins, B vitamin functions, deficiency and food sources. B vitamins are a class of water soluble vitamins that play important roles in cell metabolism and synthesis of red blood cells. Though these vitamins share similar names, B1, B2, and 3, et cetera, they are chemically distinct um, compounds that often coexist in the same foods. In general, dietary supplements containing all eight are referred to as B vitamin complex. And I'm going to go through them and find out, and you're going to find out why these are important to take a supplement or you can take them in your foods. If you're not supplementing enough, if you're not uh, eating enough food, then you can supplement. B vitamin play a vital role in maintaining good health and well-being as the building blocks for, of a healthy body. B vitamins have a direct impact upon your energy levels, brain function, and cell metabolism. B vitamin complex helps prevent infections and help support or promote health, cell health. Now, these are the two remedies. Pure air, sunlight, temperance, or abstentiousness, water, rest, exercise, nutrition, trusting God. So if you find that there is something happening to you, ask yourself which one of these that has been violated. And then you can go through the lists and see for yourself if you're not getting fresh air. Today, for those of who are in Calgary, it was difficult because there were so many, there was a lot of smoke in the air and there was, the air was so impure today. People have to close their windows just to ensure that the smoke uh, didn't get in. And for those of you, if your smoke got in um, in your room, just cut um, slices of lemon, uh, sorry, not lemon, onions and put it in each room so it can help to purify the air throughout the night. Okay. Are you getting enough exercise? Nutrition. What is your nutrition like? Are you trusting in God enough? Water. Are you taking enough water? You're supposed to be taking at least um, eight glasses of water each day. And how are you going? You take at least um, two mouthfuls at a time every 10 minutes so you can assure that you're getting enough water. Sunlight was a challenge today. But then you can take your B, um, B3 vitamin, your D3 vitamin to ensure that you're adequately covered. Okay. Rest. You, the, have you been going to your bed before 10 p.m. at night? So if you're going through the list and see that you're not adequately doing these things, that means that disease will come because you're violating some part of the laws of health. And these are the true remedies. B complex vitamins. The dozens or so B vitamins are all important and should be taken and should be taken and should be taken together. They are as follows. Thiamine, B1, ribofibrobin, B2, B2, niacin. Uh, let me ask again. If you're hearing me, just raise your hand, just to make sure everyone is hearing me. Okay, Tashley has raised his hand. That means someone is hearing me. Okay, two people hearing me. I'm not sure why Ella Simeon is still not hearing me. I'm not sure. So um, let me see what I can do. Um, okay, let me see if I can get you back on. Okay, Ella Simeon, you're here. All right, others are hearing me. 
Okay. So let me continue. So let me continue. So others are hearing me. All right. Okay, let me see here. All right, so does this, our soul B vitamins are all important and should be taken together since they work together. They are as follows, as I was saying before, before I got distracted. For best results with any of them, take all the B vitamin at the same time. So it is best that you take the B complex and you're gonna find out why you're not, you're not supposed to be taking separate vitamins, all right? So always take a B complex vitamin. I'm just giving you the information in regards to what these vitamins, each and every one of them are for. The B vitamins are excellent for the entire nervous system. Okay. All right, let me... All right, okay. So this is a B vitamin complex. Prolonged use of large doses of any one of the isolated B complex vitamin may result in high urinary losses of other B vitamin resulting in deficiencies of them. The functions, it, the whole of the B vitamin complex um, functions, uh, um, covers this function for the nerves, the eyes, the ear, the hair, the liver, and mouth, muscle tone and give muscle tone. So for it to work properly, you need as um, to take the vitamin C as and E with, with um, calcium to make it more um, assimilated in your system. Thiamine. Thiamine is a water-soluble uh, B vitamin naturally found in some foods, added to foods and sold as supplements. It plays a vital role in the growth and function of various cells. Only small amounts are stored in the liver, so a daily intake of thiamine-rich food is needed. It also enhances circulation and assists in blood formation carbs metabolism and production of hydrochloric acid, which is important for a proper digestion. And these are the deficiencies when you're not ha having adequate um, B1. Weight loss, confusion, memory loss, um, eventually it, it develops um, into more than just confusion, muscle weaknesses, mental depression, low immunity, um, eating lots of sugar and alcohol and refined food can lead to deficiency. And the food sources, you have lentils, green peas, um, enriched cereals, your bread, your brown rice, um, sage, those, um, that's a herb, and red clover. Um, those are what it is, um, is found in. There are others, which is animal products, but I'm only going to list those that are, are more healthy. Thiamine is destroyed with high heat cooking or long cooking times. Um, it also leaches into water. So sometimes when you're looking after you're being especially lentils, don't throw away the water in the lentils because you're throwing the, the, the thiamine that is in the, um, in the lentil that is um, poured out into the water. Okay, so let's see how much of the dose you're supposed to take. And remember, do not, um, these are just for informational purposes only. Consult your doctor when you are doing anything that is not so, um, prescribed by your doctor. I'm not a medical personnel. I'm just um, a medical missionary that can help people with just using um, simple remedies like the eighth laws of health, to help them um, on their um, way of recovery. Now, RDA, as you have heard before, ODA and TDA. 
Now, RDA is recommended daily allowances, which is government um, guide, um, guideline. Optimum daily amount, which is ODA, best for the regular living, and therapeutic, which for healing. And you're going to often see these um, as I continue. Now, for thiamine, this dosage for people who, uh, it is recommended 50 to 100 milligram daily. In elderly with age-related mental impair, um, impairment, including Alzheimer's, three to eight grams daily. Prevents thiamine deficiency, especially this principal use in diabetes, Crohn's disease, multiple sclerosis, and other neurological diseases. Needed for stimulation, B, uh, vitamin B, and uh, manganese. Manganese is a trace mineral, which I'm going to talk about on Wednesday. Um, cautions, destroyed when diet includes alcohol, tannins in coffee that black, that cause the coffee and other things to, um, like the tea to get dark. And also um, sulfates or uncooked freshwater fish. It's also magnesium is needed for the conversion of thiamine um, to its active form. There's no um, toxicity as um, that is in thiamine that is known of. Okay. Now, B12 or rabafavivin. B12 is naturally present in, um, present in food, added to food and available as a supplement. Bacteria in the gut can produce small amounts of ribofavivin, but not enough to meet dietary needs. Most ribofavivin is used immediately and not stored in the body. So excess amount is excreted in the urine and excess of dietary riboflavin usually um, from supplements can cause urine to become um, bright yellow. So your, your, if you're taking, um, if you're drinking adequate water, your urine is supposed to be pale to light yellow. But of course, if you're taking supplements, then it's going to change. So you don't worry about that. It's because of the supplement. But if you're taking adequate, then if you're not taking supplements, then you're supposed to be worried when your urine becomes too yellow. Okay, you are dehydrated. Deficiencies, cracked lips or throat, swelling of the mouth and throat, hair loss. And that's a, another thing why so, so many women are having, um, you know, what they call um, Appalachia. It's because of the inside is not being taken care of. So if the inside is being taken care of, then the outside would follow. So I'm sure you, you'll see a lot of the things that are promoting hair growth. But what a lot of people are not talking about is what you're doing. I know some of these hair products, will, it stimulates, does stimulate the, the scalp, but you still need to take care of your inside so it can be able to work outside. All grains, dessert food sources, almonds, spinach, asparagus, avocados, and alfalfa sprout. Dosage, recommended five to 10 mg. Body cannot absorb more than 20 mg in a single dose. Principal uses, critical in the, for the production of energy, primarily used in treating migraine headaches, sickle cell, anemia, and cataracts, but for cataracts, do not use more than 10 NG. Needed for our simulation, B, vitamin B complex um, goes with, um, and BC, vitamin C, sorry. Destroyed by light, um, but not by cooking. No toxicity or side effects, except that cataract patients should not take more than 10 uh, milligram per day. Now, there are a lot of people who are experiencing, as I said in the beginning of the presentation, that when we're, um, say for instance, we're having a headache, it's not that, um, oh my gosh, you have to run to the doctor, something is terribly wrong. It's check, always check whether or not you're violating any of the laws of health, whether you didn't get enough sunlight, you didn't go to your bed early, these are some of the things that are happening. It's part of a bigger picture. Disease never comes without a cause. As I've said before, doctors only treat symptoms. They'll say, okay, take this. If you ask them what's the cause, they say, ah, 
it's no cause. Sometimes it happens. If you, you ever heard that you have gone to the doctor, you ask them what is what is causing this. Sometimes it's just happened. They don't tell you that it is something bigger than um, it's more bigger. This is just a symptom of something bigger. Because it's happened to me before. What has caused this doctor? Uh, these things happen sometimes because of age, because of this, because of that. And they're not directly telling you the things that are happening to your body. Because uh, as I said um, on Wednesday night, that this um, disease, that um, medicine or drugs do not cure disease. It only moves from one location to the other. And then you get another drug to, to help with that one. And if you look on the television, it always you see they're advertising about some drugs and they'll tell you about for one problem and it, you have 10 side effects and then you're gonna have to take another one to help with a side effects and another one and the cycle continues, which is very vicious. And you are the one who's in the middle because your health is at stake. Always take care of yourself. Look at the, 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 the laws of health to see which one of them is being violated. B3, niacin. Niacin, B3, is a water, another water-soluble vitamin found naturally in foods. Added to food and sold as supplements. The, the two most common form of niacin is in food and supplements are niacin, niacinic acid and niacinic timine. The body can also convert in tryptophan and um, amino acid to nicotinamid. Niacin is water soluble so that excess amounts of body, excess amount um, the body does not need it excrete, uh, excreted into urine. So that's why sometimes when you are taking um, these vitamins you find that they urinate it often is because that's what, if you don't need it, it's just go out of your system. So don't worry about it. Just continue to do your intake of water. Um, niacin works in the body as a coenzyme with more than 400 enzymes, depending on, on it for various reactions. Niacin helps to convert nutrients into energy, create cholesterol, fats, create and repair DNA and, ex and exert um, antioxidant effects. Now, uh, our bodies are naturally have, our bodies naturally have cholesterol. Our bodies naturally have cholesterol. So when you start putting in the unnatural, the bad ones, then you, people develop all sorts of, um, it go to the arteries and it clogs the arteries and you have um, high blood pressure and all of these things because the blood is not going free because your arteries are getting clogged. So the blood has to um, work over time. Now, these unhealthy things are like the fats that are put in the oil that is not necessary in our diet. The healthy fats, though, are like your nuts that you take a handful after um, your second meal. As I spoke about um, how in nutrition, what you're supposed, how much meals you're supposed to be taking per day, because your system um, needs at least five hours to um, to your food needs five hours to digest. And if you keep putting in more, then the body do not know what to do with it, and then it gets overtaxed, and you don't want that. And then disease starts to set in because your your stomach is still working. Uh, I'm going to talk about it on, um, on next week in Daniel's diet and give you more in depth of, um, about nutrition and what you're supposed to do when it comes to and what happens uh, when you have indigestion and some of the things that are causing your indigestion. Deficiencies, depression, headache, uh, fatigue, um, memory loss, hallucinations, pallagra, a condition that darkens sometimes scaly rash that develops um, parts of your skin that is um, exposed to sunlight. Constipation or diarrhea, and it's found the food source, brown rice, fortified cereals, fortified cereals. When you look at the label, you see that it says that it have different nutrients in it. That's what it called fortified cereals and breads and nuts and legumes and bananas. As I said, when you see these food sources, there are more, but I only um, show you the ones that are, are healthy, not the ones that have animal products or animal related. Dosage. Um, the best use of um, niacinate is to avoid face flush. Oh, niacinate 
has many of the same effects as niacin, but for most purposes is better because it does not cause flushing of the face and will induce for several minutes. The doses that you need are regular RDA, 18 mg, 100. And for the therapeutic amount, you need 2000, just that's for healing. Mega doses are up to 25,000 for people who are schizophrenic and uh, or high cholesterol, arthrosclerosis, but prolonged massive doses might induce stomach ulcers. So you don't need to be taking this for long. Recommended take it with meals as most supplements and most um, drugs of patients given 1.5 gram daily of niacin for 26 weeks. However, of patients with rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis or RA and OA as they call it, were given 900 to 4,000 mg. Needed for simulation, B, B complex along with vitamin B, um, vitamin C as I said before. The body converts tryptophan into niacin because niacin works closely with other B vitamins. They all need to be taken at the same time. Warning, do not use sustained release. Sustained release means that it's slow release. It can damage the liver. That's what sustained release is. It goes slowly. You need something that works um, fast release, as you say. In one text, 52% taken it experienced liver damage. So sometimes you're taking your vitamins and you're, you're taking things that you're seeing that you're thinking that you're doing good. And sometimes it is not working and you're wondering why you're still sick because you're probably taking them in isolation. As I said before, remember to take the B complex, okay? Um, in, instead, gradually increase doses of regular pure cysteine niacin over four to six weeks for 100 mg um, three times per day to 1.5 to 3 grams daily in, divid, in divided doses. Niacin should not be used in advanced people who are advanced in diabetes. Okay. B5, pantothenic acid, is naturally present in food, added to foods and available as supplement. It used to make coenzyme, uh, coenzyme, a chemical compound that helps enzyme to build and break down fatty acids, as well as perform other metabolic functions. Um, actually, um, carry a protein which is always involved in building fats. Pantothenic acid is found in a wide variety of foods. Um, bacteria in the gut can also produce some pantothenic acid, but not enough to meet dietary needs. These are the deficiency, headache, fatigue, irritability, restlessness, disturbed sleep, nausea, vomiting, stomach cramps, numbness, burning sensation in hands and feet, muscle cramp. Food sources, avocado, nuts, seeds, potato, brown rice, oats, broccoli. So the dosage, 4 mg, um, 50, that's the, the um, as you heard before, um, therapeutic amounts, 50 to 200. Researchers have given 1,000 mg daily for six months without side effects. Help in assimilation of many foods. Recommended 250 daily for RA, um, for lowering cholesterol and, tri and triglycerides, 300 mg daily. Principal use, used to treat a general function, RA, lower blood cholesterol, um, and triglyceride levels. B complex interactions, B complex vitamin A and C and E are needed for assimilation of the pantothenic acid. It is used in um, for manufacture of coenzyme A and also for ACP. Without this, fats and carbs cannot be used for energy production. So if you're if you're taking it without um, the, if you're taking B complex without A, vitamin A and C and calcium, 
as I said before, then it will not help. It is needed in production of vaginal hormones and red blood cells. It is possible that continuous in ingestion of high doses can cause heart, kidney, and liver problems. Works with folic acid. Also, see caution on the B complex. Always make sure that when you're um, taking your this um, B5, that you're cautious if you have these problems, your heart, your kidney, or your liver, make sure that you do not take them because it can um, be worse. B6, thyroxidin. Also another water soluble um, vitamin, and it is active coenzyme form and most common measure of B6 um, blood levels in a body, um, thy, um, thyroidoxical um, prostate, PLP, is a coenzyme that assists more than 100 enzymes to form various function, includes a breakdown of protein, carbs, fats, uh, maintaining normal levels of homocysteine. This means that is, um, since high levels can cause heart problems and supporting immune functions, um, function and brain health. Uh, mycocystic means that the body, um, sorry, mycocystic amina, that means the body tissue and organs do not get enough oxygen. That's what causes this type of anemia. Skin condition, depression, confusion, lowered immune, hair loss, and carpal tunnel. Fortified cereal, they're rich in um, chickpeas, some vegetables, dark green leafy vegetables, banana, papaya, oranges, and cantaloupes. So these are the food sources um, that is, this can be found in the B6. RDA, 2.5 mg. And the therapeutic amount dosage is 50 to 100 daily, even for long-term use. If used more than 50 mg daily, divided, in, um, divided it into 50 mg um, doses because the body can absorb only that amount. So if you are taking 50 to 100, make sure you just do half of that. In some instances, 25 to 50 mg daily reduces or eliminates epileptic seizures, but must be strictly monitored. So um, for people who, as I said in the beginning, as a disclaimer, make sure that when you're taking these supplements, these um, B-complex um, vitamin, that you consult with your doctor um, before you take anything. Like just like a pregnant woman, given 30 mg daily experience significant less nausea and vomiting, ginger root powder did all about as well. The most women, when they're going um, through maybe the first or second trimester, trimester they start having these uh, nausea and vomiting. Ginger root is good as well as the daily dosage of your um, B6. Okay, in another study, 72% um, of 106 young women taking 50 mg daily for one week per and during their period experienced a reduced menstrual acne flare-up. Over a, a dozen other studies also produced lowered PMS symptoms. And PMS symptoms occur because uh, many of us have hormonal imbalance. It is not natural. I, I, I thought it was natural growing up. I thought it was natural until I learned it is not natural. When we have PMS or, or, or women have menopausal symptoms, it's not natural. Um, fibrocystic breasts, endometriosis, um, cysts of the ovaries, these things are not natural. It's because of the hormonal imbalance in our system that causes these things to happen to us. This is one of the few B vitamins associated with some toxicity. Doses greater than 2000 mg can produce tingling sensation in the feet and loss of muscle coordination 
and the degeneration of nerve tissue. So don't take more than the, rec the, the recommended daily, um, recommended um, daily use. Therefore, limit dosage to just the 50 mg daily. Riboflavin and magnesium are necessary for the body to utilize paradoxin. Riboflavin interacts with magnesium and zinc and helps their utilization. This is if that you're going to take them separately and for people who have been taking them separately. Food coloring, certain drugs, oral contraceptives, alcohol and excessive protein intake destroy riboflavin in your body that is needed for healthy nerve and brain function. Biotin. You may recognize this, um, recognize um, vitamin B7 by its popular name as biotin. People don't know if you said B7, you're like, what are you talking about? Because it's mostly known as biotin. It is a water soluble. Biotin plays a vital role in assisting enzymes, which is protein, to break down fats, carbohydrates, and protein in in your food. It also helps to regulate um, signals sent by cells and activity of genes, prevents hair loss, increases the, and strengthens the nails. If any of your nails are breaking, it means that you're deficient in one of these um, B vitamins. Thinning your hair, scaly skin, rashes around the nose and, and, and the mouth, brittle nails, loss of appetite, extreme fatigue, always check to see whether or not one of these laws are being broken it has to do with your nutrition you see that these things are happening it's because nutrition 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 as well as sunlight and also water avocado sweet potato nuts seeds and whole grains okay so the dosage um 200 mcg to 300 um 300 ODA, therapeutic amount, 500 to 3,000. So the recommended daily is um, 330, sorry, to 300. For um, cradle cap given, um, give 300 mg daily to nursing mothers. If not being breastfed, give 100 to 300 mcg daily to infants for stronger nails and healthy hair, 1,000 to 3,000. Um, caution, biotin is extremely safe and no one has reported any side effects. So it is safe. Raw eggs contain, um, raw egg whites contain avidin, a protein which binds biotin and prevents from its absorption. So if you still eat egg and you're taking biotin, it won't help. Uh, Biotin works closely with other B vitamins and with coenzyme and carotenine, but its absorption is damaged by alcohol and antibiotics. So be cautious there when you're doing those that don't interact together. Folate acid, or folic acid, folate or folic acid, and many um, women who are who are maybe in getting ready to um, get, well, who want to get pregnant or are pregnant, you know, this is the best one to take so the fetus will, will develop properly. Folic is a natural form of vitamin B9, water-soluble and naturally found in many foods. It's also added to foods and sold <clears throat> as a supplement in the form of folic acid. Uh, it plays a key role in breaking down homocysteine, uh, an amino acid that can excrete harmful effects in the body if not if it is present in high amounts. Folate is also needed to produce healthy red blood cells and is critical during periods of rapid growth, such as during pregnancy for fetal development, as I've said. Um, mega, bola, mega Megabolastic, which another form of amenia, is a condition arising from a lack of folate in the diet. So if you're, like you're having, you're probably anemic. This is because there's not enough folate in your diet to produce red blood cells. Weakness because of the anemia, fatigue, 
irregular heartbeat because of the anemia, shortness of breath, difficulty concentrating, another thing, hair loss. You see how much they, when you're thinking that you're having this hair loss and, and you're wondering what is happening, it's because of um, the these um, vitamins are not in your diet, are not um, making up the amount of, in your diet so you can have optimal health. Pale skin because of the anemia too. Um, dark green leafy, leafy vegetables, turnip, um, spinach, and romaine lettuce is the better one. Brussels sprouts, beans, peanuts, sunflower seeds. These are some of the things that is rich in folic acid. Dosage. Um, 400 RA. Use this amount only with a prescription for um, um, osteoporosis. 0 0.04 mg is normal amount. Therapeutic amount to correct anemia are 50, sorry, five or more, five mg or more. Unfortunately, pro, um, protensis higher than 0 0.1 mg or 100 mcg in one tablet is available only by prescription. Physician usually prescribe 50 to 100 because of the anemia, of course. So they want to make sure you don't have more or, or, um, in your system that you need. But it has proven saving large amounts if given with B complex. And Brewer's yeast is found in, um, in like some bread, and most people use it in, in alcohol. Okay, so when Yet, sorry, when 1 to 2.5 mg um, daily is given, elevated homocysteine, and amino acids, as I said before, levels are significantly reduced, yet high levels are significant, can cause heart attack or stroke. So do not go over the recommended daily. Cautions. Some authorities believe folic acid should not be taken during leukemia and cancer. Folic acid works closely with B, um, B vitamin um, and B12 and should always be taken with that vitamin. This because folic acid can mask B12 deficiency, resulting in nerve damage. Folic acid is destroyed by light, heat, drug like estrogen and barbiturates like sleeping pills. So you have to be careful if you're taking it by itself. This is if you're if you have it in your in your um in your, in your home already, and you see that these are things that are happening to you, probably you need to stop. When you have it in, in a, a B complex form, they give, it's supposed to give the right amount of dosage in that, in the B complex um, form. Okay, B12 deficiencies. Oh, sorry, B12. Um, Cobalamin. Cobalamin is naturally found in animal food and it also be added to food supplements. Vitamin B12 is needed to form red blood cells and also DNA. It is also a key player in the function and development of brain and nerve cells. There is a variety of B12 supplements are available. I used to take B12 by itself. I didn't even know that I should not be, I should be taking the B complex. I didn't know that I should not have been taking these, these B um, vitamin in isolation. Mega um, galactic anemia, as I mentioned before, a condition that is larger um, than a condition of larger than normal size red blood cells and a smaller than normal amount. This occur because there is not enough B12 and the diet becomes um, in... Um, in the diet or poor absorption. Pernocious um, amina is another one. A type of uh, megagoblastic um, anemia caused by a lack of intricate um, factor so that B12 is not absorbed. And it causes also another deficiency, weaknesses and fatigue, um, nerve damage, you have numbness in your hands or your feet or tingling memory loss and confusion, dementia, um, a seizure, and so on. And these are found high food source, um, soybeans, alfalfa sprout, and fortified cereals. 
It is also difficult, RDA, 3MG, it is also difficult to assimilate therapeutic doses by mouth. So doctors generally give it by injection. A sublingual um, tablet um, available in a health food store can be placed under the tongue. And that's what it is, subliminal put on the tongue. Recommended 2 mg daily for pernicious, um, perinocious anemia. Take three to 300 to 1,000 cg daily. Um, ideal dosage, though, is 2,000 mcg daily for one month, followed by a daily intake of 1,000 mg, mcg thereafter. Daily intake of 2,000 mcg greatly improved 18 to 20 patients with, an, uh, with asthma. Multiple sclerosis patients given 60 mg, not mcg daily, experienced significant improvement. So be, be cautious about taking B12 if you have folate acid deficiency. Um, iron deficiency or any kind of infection, Leibniz disease, that means loss of um, in the central vision, um, polycystinia, virga, um, type of blood cancer or urema kidney, with urema, which is kidney um, damage. Otherwise, you are not likely to have problems with the B12. If you're not having these problems, then it is safe to take. No one has ever reported toxicity from B12. There are two forms of B12 in clinical trials, methacobabalim, methacobabalim. The more active form produces better results from cyanobalamin. I'm always having a problem with that word. B12 and folic acid works closer together and should be taken together. Lack of B12 causes melatonin to be um, undersupplied, resulting in adequate sleep. And that's another one. And you find that you're not sleeping, you need more B12, especially if you're vegan. You have to have that covered. Okay, foods in the Bible. If you, if anyone, because I'm not seeing who is here, um, you're not um, a Christian or, um, and you're still struggling with unhealthy food, you can look in Leviticus 11 and you see a list of foods that are healthy and that are clean and unclean. And the Bible states that Jesus only gives us that because after the flood, and they were only eating foods that were nuts and grains and fruits and vegetables before the flood. These were the foods of our, um, our patriarchs and prophets before. So foods in the Bible, spices, seasoning, and herbs. And, these, and you can see the scriptures, coriander, cinnamon, cumin, dill, garlic, mint, and salt. And you can, the scriptures are there that you can able to um, refer to. Apples, almond dates, figs, grapes, melons, olives, pomegranates, raisins, sycamore fruit, cucumbers. These are many of the fruits um, that are in the Bible. Beans, gourds, leek, lentils, onions, um, as the children of Israel are craving for. And I'm going to talk to you about some natural remedies that you may have in your home already or you may want to use. So let, once again, let me repeat the, um, the disclaimer. The information provided has been proven both effective and beneficial for many individuals. However, the information provided is not to diagnose, claim to prevent, or cure such conditions. Therefore, if you are ill, have any disease or pregnant, please consult a medical doctor for medical advice, treatment, and services. So these are what your uh, first, your natural first aid kit should be looking like. Like, sorry, essential oils. These are essential oils to have in your, in your um, first aid kit. Peppermint, cloves, tea tree oil, lavender, eucalyptus, oregano, um, oregano, olive oil, these are essential to have because they work wonders um, in helping you to recover. And I'm going to go more into that. Okay, I'm just telling you the what you should have. So if you have any questions with that, you can hold it for another time, but I'm going to delve into more into that why you should be having these in your first aid kits. 
in your first aid kits. Charcoal, comfrey, golden seal, cayenne, pepper. It's not supposed to be cooked with. It is supposed to be a remedy. Um, Turmeric, um, pink Himalayan salt. Of course, you need that in your food. You need um, salt in your food. I remember it, it has supposed to be, if you, if you have just pink Himalayan salt and it does not stay, it has iodine get it it's not going to work you need the one that said iodine because it has the 80 or 94 different trace minerals i'm going to talk about trace minerals tomorrow at the ones that you need and other apparatus band-aid of course and gauze and all of these things that you need gloves antiseptic wipes a thermometer these are some of the things that you need when especially when you're going to make like a poultice or anything that um, that can aid in your recovery naturally. Always remember you have emergency services number in your contact. Natural remedies for tired feet. You know how Epsom salt works. So you just need a cup of Epsom salt, um, 10 drops of peppermint. See why peppermint is supposed to be in your, in your first aid kit to a hot foot bath and soak and it works wonders. It helps you to just, just relax and give you a calm as nail fungus. Um, use a Q-tip to massage in two drops of um, tea tree oil or oregano oil and under the bed, um, nail bed several times per day. So always use it to get rid of your nail fungus. Uh, but there is, has to be a, big, a bigger picture why you're having fungus in your nails. But for just for um, a remedy, you can use a tea tree oil and put it under your nails, drop it under your nails. Um, also, um, before you do that, make sure you soak your feet with some Epsom salt. That, that's what tire feet, but use some Epsom salt per just at least once. And then you can apply the, um, the tea tree oil or oregano oil under the nails, cold feet. Come, winter is coming up for those of us in the cold climate. Your feet are cold, just sprinkle some cayenne pepper inside your boots and it just warm your feet up. Cold sores, apply tea tree oil and lavender oil to affected area. Apply golden seal, mix in a little water to, to, to the sore. For people who are allergic to ants bite, apply um, a charcoal poultice mixed with tea tree oil. Now a poultice, um, I can let me explain what it is. It is a, when you mix something like your, the charcoal with, um, say for instance, with the tea tree oil, it's like a paste. So it's the liquid along with the powder the, the, with the charcoal and you mix it in a paste form. Then you put it on um, like, you can put it on a, a, a rag or paper towel, spread it all around on it, on the paper towel a little, and then you apply to the area that is affected. So whatever problems that you have, that's what a poultice is. It's your powder with liquid mixture or whether it's water or whatever it is. And then you put it on the area and then you apply with, um, covered with, with plastic or a little bandaid or anything that can cover it to ensure that whatever is on, applied to the skin, it just pulls whatever out. Okay, so always um, also drink um, charcoal mix um, in water. That's for those persons who have been affected by unspite or who is allergic to it. So they pull the poison out. Eucalyptus cough syrup. This is a natural one. So a cup of boiled honey, eight drops of eucalyptus oil, mix to um, the above ingredients into a small jar and ring to a bring to a boil and when it's needed you take um, the amount onion cough syrup or oh, 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 my nephew used to love this one i used to make it for him this was even before i knew about this um, my my nephew used to love drink even when he doesn't have a cold he just loved to drink the onion um cough syrup slice onion in half um and uh, place onion in a saucepan and cover it with honey and cook gently for 30 minutes or so until the honey is nice and warm and you can turn it off. So this helps you when you're coughing, you're having a cough. And believe me, it works. I can tell you, it does work. Um, 
Now, for your immune system to build up, for cloves of garlic and for those people um, who maybe have lower pressure, just try and be careful. Two lemons, ginger, um, horseradish. Horseradish is almost like a root. It's like uh, for people who know um, cassava, it's almost something like that. So yeah, I have a picture at the bottom here. Um, add a bit of water it needed to help with blending, simmer for 15 minutes, cool and store in a glass. And it can store up to seven days. Okay, best if taken at the first sign of a cold or flu or sore throat. It helps to build your immune system. So if you feel like you're having a cold or start to get the sniffles, do this remedy to help to build your immune system and it will help you get away from the cold or the COVID that it, you know, uh, um, to help you not to get these things, just to build your immune system. Build your immune system with hydrotherapy. Alternative hot and cold showers, five to 15 minutes. Do us this um, three minutes of hot and 30 seconds of cold. Uh, if a person is experiencing pain also, alternate, do it at least three times. All right, so 30 minutes of, three, sorry, three minutes of hot and 30 seconds of cold. This is a vigorous tonic and physical stimulant. The hot dilates the blood vessels and pulls in a congestion to the surface, also bringing nutrients and fresh supply of blood. Um, in a study uh, of students on the effects of immune system functioning as measured by our IgA or secretory humor globulin A levels found, after five minutes of feeling care and compassion, the subject had an immediate 41 percentage um, increase of their IgA levels. After one hour, IgA levels returned to normal, but slowly increased over the next six hours. On the other hand, there was an 18% increase of IgA levels when the participant experienced anger an hour later that IgA levels has dropped to about a half of what they were before the anger. Even after six hours, their IgA levels were still not back to normal. So pleasant thoughts. Take away the anger that, you know, your, your blood levels can able to be at a, a minimum or where it's supposed to be. Not to go over, not to go under. So stay away from... Um, unhealthy thoughts. Learn the distinct early warning signs. What are the first indications that you are heading towards sickness? Find out what they are for yourself, your loved ones, and your children. When you see trouble coming, get adequate rests. Retire early, skip a meal or two, go to bed before 10 p.m., and fasts on water and lemon juice. When you do a fast, when you're skipping the meal, just fast on water and lemon juice. Any, oh, just give me one moment, please. Let me close this off.